I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks, and today we're making cream biscuits. So this recipe is based on James Beard's cream biscuit recipe. And this is a recipe that I found when I was younger, I was a young cook, and I wanted to make biscuits for a dish. And I didn't want to go through the trouble of cutting in the butter or the shortening and then kind of doing the whole like real biscuit, uh, you know, recipe. So when I found this, I said, okay, this is great. Not only are they delicious, they're easy and they're quick. And that's what I love about it. One thing I want to talk about before we make the biscuits is how to cut them. Now I've seen like grandmas and stuff like that use a cup or a mug and I don't really like to do that because I find that when I use this, it's not necessarily cutting, it's kind of squishing down and crimping the sides. And I feel like you don't get a lot of rise to the biscuits. I like to use a sharp knife or sharp cutters, right? This cuts through it, it doesn't squish it, so we get a really nice rise on our biscuits. So. Look, you might have a grandma that does it and she gets really high biscuits, but I'm just talking to ensure that you get that nice rise. Don't use a glass or a mug, use cutters or a knife. Like I said, these biscuits are super easy and they come together really quick. So you need to have everything that you need right in front of you. I have some bench flour, I've preheated my oven, I have all the ingredients I need, I have all the tools, and I have a baking sheet ready to go. I like to get these together and in the oven as fast as possible. This way we get the maximum amount of leavening from our baking powder. For my biscuits, this is what you're gonna need. All purpose flour, heavy cream, salt, sugar, and baking powder. So here we go, super easy. I'm gonna put my sugar in, my salt, and my baking powder, all go in. I'm gonna get a spoon and just stir it really well to make sure these are really combined really well and that, you know, I don't have any kind of lumps of sugar or salt or baking powder. You can use a whisk for this if you want, but I just like to use the spoon because that's what I got. I'm using a spoon to start the mixing process because it's really firm. I tend not to use a spatula because they bend, so I find a spoon that's either bamboo or wood for stirring, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little well in the center and I'm gonna spill my cream everywhere, make sure you get it everywhere. I'm gonna put most of the cream in here. So I had about a cup and a quarter, and I'm just gonna bring this together. And I'll save a little bit of the cream in case it's a little too wet. I just wanna bring it together so that I have a nice kind of, you know, put together mixture, it's not scraggly. So maybe I need just a little more cream so you might have to adjust. I, it, I'll put it in the recipe down below, a cup, cup and a quarter, sometimes a cup and a half. It all depends on the humidity outside, the weather. I'm gonna put a little more cream in. I think I'm just gonna use it all. Okay, put that aside. Good, 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 good. So I had to get a little more cream. I had a cup and a quarter, but I needed a little more. So don't be afraid to adjust. I want this to come together so it's not dry at all, but I don't want it to be wet and sticky. And I think that I'm pretty good here, okay? So I have my bowl scraper, I'm gonna get in there, and I just like to kind of chop it up a little, right? So I'm not exactly working the gluten in here. Now I could pour it out onto my board. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knead this really lightly. I'm not actually not even really gonna knead it. I'm just gonna kind of shape it, flatten it, maybe just turn it over on itself a couple of times. There we go. And what I like to do with this is, I'm not really gonna use a rolling pin or anything like that, but what I am gonna do, I'm gonna cut it into squares, right? I'm not a huge fan of cutting these into rounds, even though that's kind of the, the common way people do it. I'm gonna cut them into squares because then you have no waste, right? I think that they fit better for sandwiches. You can cut them any size square that you want, but I like to cut them into like kind of like nice size squares, right? So I think I'm just gonna do four biscuits with this because I'm gonna eat them for dinner. Right, cut them with four biscuits. Get my tray, I'm using an ungreased tray and they might not look exactly like the biscuits you've seen before, but I like them like this. Uh, no fuss, nothing fancy, you don't have to get the cutters out and then you can just throw them in the oven. How quick and easy was that? It literally took us three minutes to do. Biscuits are ready, let's go throw them in the oven. Uh, they're gonna be in there for about 12 to 15 minutes. We'll get nice and golden brown and we'll take them out. Not only is this biscuit recipe quick, delicious, and easy, it is also versatile. 
You can do as many different varieties as you can dream up. Today I'm just gonna do cheddar cheese, scallions, and black pepper. Uh, the only thing I'm careful about is that I don't use cheese that has a lot of moisture or vegetables that have a lot of moisture. That could throw a lot of things off and mess with the, the, like the texture of the biscuit. But pretty much the world is your oyster when it comes to these biscuits. All right, let's make the biscuits. Just like the uh, other ones, we're just going to throw our salt, sugar, and baking powder in. Give it a stir. Make sure that these are combined really well. If you want, you can sift these. I don't sift, right? Again, I want these to be quick and easy. So get that mixed in. I'm gonna add my cheese and my scallions now right? Because I want them to be fully incorporated. I'm also going to add some black pepper, like a nice crack of black pepper, just to give these a little bit of a kick, right? And I'm going to toss everything together before I add the cream in. So everything's kind of coated with the flour. So now we're just going to add our cream like we did earlier. I'll reserve just a little. Stir it together, bring it together to a nice dough. Oh yeah, that's nice. Look at that. That came together beautifully. Get my dough scraper. I'm gonna dust my board with a little bit of flour and get my biscuit dough out onto the bench. I got it on the bench. Gonna do the same thing I did with the other one. Light, light, light kneading. I'm not really kneading and I'm just kind of put it together. And I'm gonna form it into that same square or rectangle because I want it to be four nice big biscuits. Again, just like the, uh, like the original flavor, you can easily make this into uh, rounds. But again, I like square. I'm a big fan of the square biscuits. So cut it with a sharp implement, put it onto your tray. And put it in the oven. All right, here we go. Look at those babies. Don't they look good? Now, they're not your traditional biscuit. This is a cream biscuit. It is not like grandma used to make, uh, but they are quick, easy, delicious, and you can have biscuits in less than 20 minutes. And that's what I love about this recipe. I'm gonna let the other ones finish up and then we'll give it a taste. All right, my cheddar scallion and black pepper ones are out. Look at them. Now, one thing you could do with these if you want, you can brush some heavy cream of butter on top. Again, I went for super simple today to show you how easy it is to do. I'm gonna let these cool and we're gonna taste them with the plain biscuits. It's time to taste. Let's get into the, uh, the plain biscuit. I want you to take a look at the inside. The inside is nice and fluffy. It's not dense. It looks fluffy and um, smells delicious. Mm. Mm. It really satisfies that biscuit craving really quickly in the oven, out of the oven in less than 20 minutes about. What I love about these biscuits is that they are super versatile. I said that in the beginning and I'm saying it again. You can do anything you want to them. You can cut them open and make them to a sandwich. You can top them with butter, jam, honey. You can put chicken, fried chicken in the middle of them, right? I like to put them on top of uh, chicken pot pie. Instead of using a uh, pastry dough, throw a biscuit on top of there. Super versatile, delicious, and quick. I wanna taste this one really quick before we go. Let's look at the inside of this. Look at that. Look at that cheese, crumbly texture. The cheese on the outside gets all crispy. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm -mm -mm. Again, great biscuit texture, great flavor. Super easy to make and versatile. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We have merch in the description down below. We also have a PO box down there. I wanna thank our Patreon patrons for supporting us. And that is My Cream Biscuits. I'm Chef Frank, this is Proto Cooks. Have a good one.